quadratic functions. Uh, here we're going to see how quadratic function looks like uh, graphically and algebraically. So here I start with uh, a simple quadratic function where y equal x square. So what we have y equal x square, uh, the graph is uh, open upward, which is here the graph in blue, y equal x square. And uh, so the graph makes this curve, which we call parabola. So the next uh, graph I choose is y equal 2x squared, which is graphed in green. It is also a parabola, but the coefficient here uh, next to the x squared change from 1 to 2, and the graph also change a little bit. It become narrower than the graph of x squared. And it's going to keep going and going. And the third graph I choose here is y equal 1 half x squared. So this graph here, y equal 1 half x squared, compared to the graph y equal x squared with the coefficient just 1 here, it's uh, wider, a lot wider than all of them. So as you can see, uh, this coefficient right here uh, changed the shape of the parabola from narrower to wider. So if uh, this coefficient here, we call it a, is less than 1, then the parabola is going to be wider. But if the coefficient a greater than 1, then the parabola will be narrower as we see in here. This coefficient also uh, affect the graph, the shape of the graph, the U-shaped graph. If it is a negative number, then the parabola will be opening downward instead. And the same will be the exact same shape, but it's going to be uh, opening downward. When A is a less than a zero. It will be uh, open downward. Let's see another example here. So the next example we go over is this one, y equal 2x squared minus 4x minus 1. So again, this is a parabola because the uh, highest degree for the x is 2. So it's going to make a U-shape. And as you see, A is positive, so the parabola will open upward. So this form, which we call it AX squared plus BX plus C, is, uh, can be rewritten as the standard form, which is AX minus h quantity square plus k. So we can go from this form to the next form by completing square, which we're going to see later in other videos. And it will give us the exa exact same uh, graph, except that it helps us find the vertex easily. And the vertex is this lower point when the parabola is looking upward or sometimes the highest point if the parabola is opening downward. So this is the vertex of this graph here, 1 minus 3, as we're going to see how to find the vertex from the standard form of the quadratic function. And we have here the y-intercept, and here we have the x-intercept. And uh, as you see, all these parabolas they are kind of symmetric with respect to this line here. And we have a name for this line. It's called the line of symmetry, which is x equal 1, which is also the x, always the x of the vertex. 
as we're going to see in other videos. And so if we see another example, here I have the ax squared plus bx plus c, and the a is a negative, which is going to make the parabola, the u-shape, opening downward because a is equal to negative 3. So in this parabola, in this uh, algebraic form, can be rewritten in a standard form as y equal minus 3 x plus 1 quantity squared plus 2. So if we distribute, so we have x squared plus 2x plus 1 plus 2, and we distribute in negative 3, we get negative 3x squared minus 6x minus 3 plus 2, which is negative 3x squared minus 6 minus 1, which is this form right here. So this parabola again, the, it has a line of symmetry called x equal, and so the vertical line is always x equal negative 1. It has the y-intercept, and here 0, minus 1, and the x-intercept, which you can find by setting the uh, function equal to 0. By making y equal to 0, you can and using quadratic formula, you could find these two points here. So the maximum point here is this vertex right here. I hope this is helpful.